The study, conducted by the American College of Radiology Imaging Network, found that digital mammography increased breast cancer detection by 28% over traditional film scans. These results apply to premenopausal and perimenopausal women, as well as women under the age of 50 who have dense breasts. Women with dense breasts have a larger amount of glandular tissue, which appears white on a scan and can make cancer diagnosis difficult. Breast cancer, whether it's the, in the form of a mass or in the form of a calcification, um, also shows up as white on a mammogram. So obviously the more white tissue that's in the breast, the easier it is to hide um, a cancer potentially. Digital mammography takes an electronic image of the breast and stores it directly in a computer allowing the image to be greatly enhanced, much more so than a traditional film screen. It also gives us the ability, uh, similar to when you use a digital camera to obtain pictures in your home, gives us the ability to post-process an image. So a mammogram can be taken. Uh, we can then magnify certain parts of it, change the contrast in certain parts of it, do whatever we need to do to really maximize the image and maximize our diagnostic accuracy, which is something we never had an option with, with film screen. For patients like 27-year-old Monica Birch of Woodbridge, Virginia, accuracy matters. Monica's mother was diagnosed with breast cancer at age 32, and Monica now has annual screenings because she's at a high risk. But with dense breast tissue, traditional film screens have often meant a lengthier process with imperfect results. The films, she had to get a little more, or keep trying to, trying to do it to get a better view of it. When the one I had recently, it was very quick. She was able to get the tissue density easy. With less retakes necessary, there is less exposure to radiation and less time at the doctor's office. Monica has now made a permanent switch to digital mammography. Maureen Karnbach, a 47-year-old registered nurse, made the switch to digital mammography after a troubling letter arrived in the mail informing her that she needed to have follow-up testing after a routine mammogram. Um, my mom had died of cancer. I have two aunts that have died of breast cancer, so it's something that I'm really religious about doing. So when the letter came that said, you have to have this repeat, I was like, whoa. You know, it, it just makes you stop. And it's not something that, it, as a woman, you ignore. Maureen was told she'd need to have an ultrasound to further review an area of concern. But because Maureen works at the hospital, she found out about the digital mammogram and chose to have her mammogram redone. She says the results were worth it. And the film was so clear and it just, it's a world of difference in the two films. And they could easily see what they were looking at and easily see that little spot that, you know, the other radiologist was concerned about and say, nope, that's not a problem. It's okay. So I was, I was thrilled. It is recommended that all women receive a baseline mammogram at age 35 and then regular annual exams beginning at age 40.